Hey guys, Blender Penguin here with another tutorial. Alright, let me get my windows set up. Alright, this is going to be how to uh, fire a gun without actually using a bullet. And this is really the better way to do it because when you have a bullet's real speed, a uh, blender usually won't be able to calculate collisions and uh, all that stuff. Sometimes it'll go through objects and it can get really messed up. So you just gotta use this version and then maybe add a bullet just for effect. But this is really the good way to do it so that there's never any error. What I have here is a very unhappy cube. That's what we're going to be shooting. And then I have a shotgun from my shooting gallery game, an empty, and the camera. And it's all positioned to look like an FPS. There's no parenting yet and there's no uh, game logic. It's all just... Uh, it's just to show you how to fire it and if you press play the unhappy cube spins around because I thought that'd be cool to do <laughs> so first we're gonna wanna make uh, an animation of the kickback on the gun so frame one hit I rotation and then go over to let's see let's do ten rotate x-axis so it's shooting and we want it to go up to route uh, here I rotation so now it does this if you hit the arrows alright and then you want it to go back down so hit uh, let's go to 20 it might need to be a little faster rotate x Get it? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to where it was before. Let's do Alt R, clear rotation. Nope. All right. All right. Uh, this is really bad. I'm just eyeballing it, so bear with me. That looks good. So, uh, oh, I do have some here, but I'll add it later. Or just keep it to make things easier. So, on here, go to your game logic button, the one that looks like a purple Pac Man, and do add mouse left button, and then and, and then add IPO. And then make it 1 to 20, because that's how long our animation is. Connect the ball to the Cheerio. So now if we play it and click, that is way too slow. <laughs> but it works. So go over here to animation. Do some tweaking. Uh, annoying tweaking. Let's delete it all and start over. Probably faster. Alright, this time I'll pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I rotation. Let's do five. Rotate X. Now I'm watching. Ten degrees. Another five. Eight X. Negative ten degrees. Alright, now if we play, that's good enough. <laughs> oh yeah, change this to 10. Alright, so now when we press it, it kicks back very slowly. And uh, now we need to add the fire effect, like the boom, the explosion from shooting coming out of the barrel of the gun. I made this real quick, it's a very rough... Um, explosion shape and then I uh, UV textured an explosion picture into it and it's called bang and we want that in the second layer so I'll go over to this empty and then click the shotgun you can use this mouse click so you can save uh, a lot of stuff save a lot of uh, logic 
So now when you press mouse, it's going to follow this, it's going to do this, and then it's also going to do what we're about to do. So go over to object, edit object, add object, so I do like that, it's called bang. And there we go. And then we want to adjust the time so that it's just there for a flash. So experiment with that. Alright, it's sideways. Rotate. Ooh. 90 degrees. There. So now there's a little boom, boom, boom. Okay. <laughs> I'll make it a little bigger. Bam. Alright, so now it looks like we're firing. Alright. And now the important part, which is actually what you need for it to do anything. We're gonna click the camera here and we're gonna use something called a ray. Ray. Where is ray? What ray does, it shoots like an invisible beam. And then uh, once it detects an object, it'll do something. So now we're going to um, do that. So now we need to add a property to our cube so that it knows what to do. We'll just call it hit. Change float to string. Go back to the camera. So put in hit. So now when it shoots the beam and then uh, hit find something, and if it hits the property with the property hit, it'll do what we put in. So now we're going to say, looks like we want y-axis, it's already like that, and uh, make, the ra make the range extremely far, or however far you want your gun to shoot. It's in blender units, so I have no definite way of telling what it's going to be. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to experiment that with your own, because your models will be smaller or bigger, a bunch of stuff like that. And we don't want to do this. So uh, collect, select the cube as well. This logic is what makes it spin around. So add, edit object, end object, because we want it to die. So now when it hits the hit, we want it to go over here to end object. So let's try that out. It failed. <laughs> and it should be. Yep, that would hit it right there, right above the eyebrow. <laughs> so, oh, I know what we did wrong. Let's make this a little bigger. No, I don't need that. Oh boy. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> um, if you go over to the object tab, there's a nice little button here called axis. If you click that, it'll give you its local um, axis directions. So it was shooting positive Y, so it was shooting the beam straight up. That's why it wasn't working. So we need it to be negative Z. For me, it'll be different for you, probably. Or it might be the same, never know. So, negative Z. Boom. No more angry cube. The world is a better place. Alright, and, oh, uh, I did something else. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, I added this line here that goes from the clicking the left button to over here, so that way it has to click and be uh, that distance. If you just had this, it would blow up automatically. Like, let's just play, it's already dead. So, I don't want that. So, the line would connect, that'd be nice. Okay. Boom. So, that's how to shoot a gun with, uh, uh, how do you call it? Yeah, good. Uh, not using a physical bullet. <laughs> Thank you for the request. Um, Caboose something, get your name was. Where it was, oh yeah, I was trying to find uh, 
some fire to use for that effect, but I couldn't find anything. Oh well. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and please uh, subscribe and request tutorials. Thank you.